So in, in next session, uh, sorry, last session we talked about class object, right? Definitions, benefit of object oriented programming over procedural programming language. So here, see, I'm just um, creating a class, designing a class, and my class name is, I don't know, my class name is, any guess? Mobile. So I want to design mobile uh, with color. Please come with me. And uh, price. No. That's it. Nobody replying. Are you there? Yes. Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes. Mobile can has a default color silver. And price equals to three hundred. Right. And public. Wide. Wow, right? Our, you know, a ring, ring, ringtone. Do you know ringtone? Every mobile will have ringtone, right? Yes. Oh, this is. So this is the behavior, right? I'm telling you, everybody must know how to design all these simple classes. And here you can say what? Tring, tring, right? Your ringtone. Tring, tring, whatever you want to say. I hope I'm making myself clear. Yes. And then public yes. wide call. So, see, this is my design for mobile. Somebody says, hey, can you design mobile for me through which I can make a call and a ringtone? So, I can make a multiple instance of it, right? You need to know what is the, what is the, Disadvantage of it, right? Disadvantage of this class is uh, you can uh, create n number of mobile, but 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 all the mobile will be exactly similar. Am I right or not? Yes. You tell me. Yes. The, we have two objects, right? Both objects are similar or not? See, all the three objects have same color and same price, right? You cannot distinguish it. Am I right or not? M1, M2, and this is clear to everybody. Yeah. Here, when you use new and writing mobile and parenthesis, so you are calling constructor. Nice. So with new operator, when you mention the class name, you are calling constructor. See yes. So here you are calling constructor. Any guess? Calling constructor. Not applying. Calling constructor. With the no parameter, right? Are you following me? So here a constructor is called or not? Calling cons. You're not replying, man. With zero parameter. Yes. Zero parameter, yes. So in this, uh, you see, you do not have any constructor. Say, yes, you don't have any, you don't have any constructor, right? You don't, you don't, you don't. But when you compile your program, then compiler will inject a constructor inside it. Who will inject the constructor okay. inside it? Compiler. So compiler inject a constructor inside a class uh, when you do not have any constructor. This is called default constructor. So default constructor is always given by whom? Compiler. Compiler. Under the condition, if you are not writing any constructor, so uh, default constructor will be injected by the compiler. Let me write it. Default constructor. Wow, by injected by the compiler. Please reply. Default constructor will be injected by compiler. compiler. Right? A, why you can say this constructor? Any guess? Because constructor has a rule. What rule? Uh, name should be same as class name. Name must be same as class name. Class name. And no return type. No return type, yes. Are you following me? This is the two rule through which you can say this is my constructor. I don't know you guys are following me or not. Yes, yes. yes and here we are calling default constructor. When you call the default constructor, you are creating a mobile object and this mobile object has two attribute inside it can you see this 
if you say this is mobile object and this will have how many attribute two attribute color and price right so this object has two attribute color and price i hope i'm making myself clear you can make a block right this object will have two block color and by default color is silver yeah. and price is 300 no, anybody have any confusion? Now you can uh, call ringtone. You can print the color, right? So if you want to print the color, you can write system dot out dot print ln. You want to print the color of M3. You can say M3 dot color. Hello. That is it. So it will print the color of M3 or M2. M3, of course. M3. Right. So what is the drawback of this class? Drawback of this class is this class does not have parameterized constructor so when you make the object of it all the object will have same color and price agree yes yes sir. somebody would say i want to make a mobile with different color you can't do it right no so i need to modify in a class my class in a such a fashion so that it can accept parameter of my choice so what do you have to do for this? You have to write your own parameterized constructor. What? Hello, Seema style? Mm -hmm. No. You need to write a parameterized constructor over here. Constructor, default constructor, who gives you? Compiler. And default constructor means it is not taking any parameter. Can I, can I, can I, sorry. Can I make a parameterized constructor? Allow me. If you if you have to write the parameterized constructor, what do you have to do? Any case, mobile. And here you can pass the parameter to the constructor. First parameter is color, and second parameter is price. This is clear to everybody. So when you call the parameterized constructor, C will go to the color, right? C is going to uh, override the color, and P is going to override price. Oh, Mister. When you write, a, this is parameterized constructor. Why? Helen, why this is parameterized constructor? Because you are passing parameter to it. Got my point or you got confused? This is called parameterized constructor. Today, guys, nobody is replying. I'm feeling very bad. Uh, this is called, what is this called? No with you sir what's the definition of parameter in this context i'm close to mike uh, the definition of parameter in this context parameter means you are passing input can you see this this constructor yes. will take two input one is c string second one is integer that's why i'm saying it is parameterized because it is taking input parameter oh okay thank you this is called this is called default because it is not taking any parameter and i'm telling you yeah. Uh, compiler gives you the default constructor, but under the condition, if you do not have any parameterized constructor, then only you will get the default constructor. So what I said, if you write your parameterized constructor, default constructor will be given by the compiler or not? Ellen, no, 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 no. Default constructor will not come in the picture. Uh, in which situation? Uh, default, the default constructor while not be injected inside the class under the which situation inside a class if we have assigned the uh, assigned our own parameter well, constructor will be uh, not injected uh, inside the class by the compiler if programmer please remember it if program the programmer writes yes his own mm -hmm. Parameterized constructor. Okay. Okay. No, you guys uh, understand this, or you totally got super duper confused. Uh, it makes sense for me. Default constructor will not be injected by the in, in not injected inside the class by the compiler. If programmer writes its own yes. parameterized constructor. So I'm just uh, giving one statement. Tell me it is correct or incorrect. A compiler always uh, inject a default constructor in a class. True or false? False. Compiler okay. always 
inject a constructor default constructor inside the class false also true, true. no 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 it's no. false false compiler will only inject the default constructor when you don't have parameterized constructor if you write your own parameterized constructor <laughs> if constructor will not come in the picture if you forget it i am not going to teach you please remember it <laughs> there is something which is an offense if you forget it fine one fine my dear friends yes. and one class let me let me let me let me make a, another slide for it one class can have multiple constructor oh my god what i said one class can have how many constructor multiple 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 constructor multiple and this style is called constructor overloading see default const uh, parameterized constructor was there i just uh, wrote a default constructor as well so how many constructor you can see right now two constructor first one is uh, parameterized parameterized and second and one is uh, this constructor is, uh, is written by a programmer or it is injected by the uh, compiler written by the programmer if programmer writes the default constructor himself then it is known as no argument constructor no argument constructor and uh, default constructor are same only difference is default is always injected by the compiler but uh, when you write the same constructor uh, yourself it is called no argument constructor i don't know if you got it or not in no argument constructor here you can write anything public private protected right but in uh, default constructor you can write the public or default here right it, because you are not writing it it is auto auto generated make sense i'm not replying why yes, it is called yeah. no argument constructor because it is written by the programmer so writing uh, more than one constructor inside a class is called constructor overloading remember it what writing constructor overloading more than Writing more than one constructor inside <clears throat> the class is known as constructor overloading. Loading. Make sense? A little bit. Writing more than one constructor inside a class is known as what's confusing? Nothing, just need know. example. Oh man, already example is there. You can see default constructor and you can see parameterized constructor. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. So you have two, right? Okay. One and two. This situation is called constructor overloading. <laughs> Anybody have any question query? Because uh, this is, I think, enough. Uh, if you have any question query, please ask, right? Constructor overloading means you are writing more than one constructor, right? Default constructor and no argument constructor. No argument constructor is always, uh, uh, you know, written by Nagendra, say like that. <laughs> programmer, right? Who writes this? What? The programmer. Programmer, <laughs> right? And uh, who writes this default? Uh, compiler. That's compiler. It. Okay. So constructor overloading, writing more than one constructor inside a class is called constructor overloading. We do constructor overloading so that you can initialize object in different ways, right? So let me show you the example of it. Allow me. I am telling you whatever I am teaching you, you have to go and mug it and come back. Simple. So I am going to make a program. I hope you will help me. You know. If I would be at your place, then what I would say? Do you know? Uh, you want to? What do you say? Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm getting called. Just a second. I'm going to show you some example. Done. So. I forget it. I was saying something. Anyway, let me. Uh, write yes, you, you say uh, you, if you come to your to our place, what would you say? 
I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I forget it. So I was thinking something is my bad. Please. Or give me mobile. So please help me to write this program. Helping me? Yeah. See. My dear friend, just follow one rule. When you define the attribute, right? Attribute, uh, you can always make a private. Please remember it. Ellen, private. Why private? Yes. So that nobody can access this attribute outside the class. Right. Why private? Because people cannot say outside the class. Because nobody can access it. Outside the class. Outside the class. So attribute always we should make. We should make private. Make this practice. Okay. Okay. Because our attribute is also private. Do you think anybody can change our color? Tell me. Color is my attribute or not? Tell me. Yes, it is. Do you think any, anybody can change my color? No. no? Otherwise, no. anybody can paint you red, yellow, blue. Oh my no. God. He would say, Ellen would say, I'm coming from uh, you know my home. Uh, to my office, somebody make me red color. Oh. <laughs> you change my color. <laughs> no. no. Your color is private. Nobody can change it. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Attribute should be private. And by default, color is uh, silver. Default color, right? And uh, price is whatever. Uh, and uh, hey, you want to write default constructor? Yes. You would say, Nagan, it is not default. This is called no argument constructor. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you are writing yourself. Clear? If mm -hmm. it is generated by compiler, then only you can say it is. Hello? Yes. Here, I'm just it's, writing another, yeah. another constructor. First parameter is color. Second parameter is integer. Price. Color, uh, color uh, you want to override with C. And price you want to override with P. P. Got it. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, my first constructor. This is my second constructor. This is called mm -hmm. constructor overloading, right? So overloading, I am yes. just writing uh, one more constructor. In this constructor, see difference is this constructor is taking uh, zero parameter. Say yes, mm -hmm. zero parameter or zero argument, right? No argument. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Argument yes, and parameter is. Uh, same only little bit difference is there argument and parameter but you can think same thing right now uh, how many uh, how many argument it is taking zero you two, said two two arguments over here uh, this, this, the color and then the price Unload. yeah this is taking only one argument right mm -hmm. color c yes yeah. this 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 you are writing multiple constructor but you have to follow one rule you can write multiple condi uh, constructor under the condition. They should differ in terms of parameter. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. Zero, yes. two, and one. If you pass color, uh, you are not by passing price, right? So price, would, it will take 120, right? You are, because this constructor is only overriding the... Mm -hmm. Make sense? Done. Hello? Yes. Now yeah. you can... This is just overriding only color. This is not overriding anything. This is just overriding... Color. Both, both, and this will override. Uh, we're not applying. This is just overriding price. You you understand difference between all the constructor? Yes. What constructor is saying? I'm telling you what is saying. Can you see this? First constructor is saying I will not do anything. You can take your default value, color, silver, price, this much. Second constructor is saying you can customize color and price both. This constructor is saying you can only customize color. color. This is saying you can only customize price. 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 But see, yeah. this is also having one argument. This is also having one argument, but they are differing in terms of type. Are you following me? So constructor can be overloaded under the two condition. What? Either number of arguments should be different, or if argument is same, then their type should be different. Ellen. Yes, sir. When you overload the constructor, you will take two points into the consideration. First point is Price. number of argument, right? There mm -hmm. are two points for constructor overloading. Either number of uh, parameter should be different. If parameter is same, then their type should be different. Say so yes, you want it? Yes. <clears throat>
so guys uh, in this uh, mobile uh, how many constructor do you have four zero parameter two parameter two. one parameter one, string one, and one. one parameter in this one mm -hmm. now what you can do is you can write a method public void show it can just print the all the attribute of the mobile what color mm -hmm. right Make sense yes and uh, you can i don't know how many people are understanding this program i am i am mm -hmm. Okay, now I have to make the different object of it mm -hmm. my as per my choice. Allow me. So if you want to make the object of it, you can you have to add min method inside it. So tell me, I want uh, mobile with color silver and uh, 120. What what I need to do? I have to call uh, constructor with uh, how many parameter? Zero parameter. Mm -hmm. I don't want to customize it. Now if you want to call show method, what would the output of it? You are not passing any 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 parameter to it, right? This will be called. So it is not doing anything. So color will be silver and price will be wow. twenty. Make sense? Silver. Yes. Now yes. you want to make a mobile uh, and uh, you want to override both color. You want to make it uh, red and the price you want to make it hundred. Tell me, what would be the output of it? I am saying, hey, mobile two, can you show? Can you can you show your color and price? So let me run it. So here I am calling parameterize constructor, and I am overriding color and price both. Make sense? Yes. Now third, yes. uh, you you do, you just want to override only color, right? Yellow, but you don't want to change the default price, which is one twenty. Are you following me? So in yes. this case, it is going to print the color. You are overriding yellow and default is coming. I don't know how many people got this much. People, if you have any question query, please ask. This is the best example of the class where we have multiple constructor, right? That is called constructor overloading and one method. So why we do constructor overloading? Because I want to customize object as per my need, right? One customer, one constructor can customize color and price both. This cannot customize anything. This customize only color. This customize price. 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 So uh, this is, I think, uh, you know, whatever I have taught you so far, it is enough for today. Okay. Uh, next topic, which I would like to teach you is, I don't know. Anybody have any question query? Special non-IT people. No you have to type this program 10 times. Okay. And I'm telling you in my session, if you are shy, right, you are wasting your time, right? I'm telling you this, this, this class is not for you. This mm -hmm. class is only for the people who, who thinks I am, I am their friend. Simple as that. And please yes, don't sir. cheat me. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. You, sir. yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> I want, you know, let's see. You should ask a lot of questions here and there so that I should cry. Oh my God, with this in this batch, people are asking many questions all together. Oh, I'm crying <laughs> literally. But it's not happening. It is just supposing. When you are coming to my class, you guys are showing mercy to me. I don't know why. Ask questions. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, who is A B? Please don't don't join with this surprise name. Please, when you come to my session, join with your full name, not A B T V. <laughs> Somebody television T B. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. A B. Of course, kill me. Okay, done. A next topic and simple topic I'm going to teach you is any guess? No, okay, done. today today we have done. No, no, no. If I do in that way fast, other people will kill me. I don't want to die. <laughs> Okay, the next topic which I'm going to teach you is this keyword. Which keyword? Yes. Okay. S this, is la this is this keyword and this is the last topic for today. I don't want to teach you all together many things. Let's just do it slowly, slowly. After some time, of course, I will I will increase my speed. This keyword. Hey, what is the keyword? Who will give me the definition of it? What is the keyword? I just forget it. Oh my God. It's a reason for Java. It is a word for the compiler, which yes. meaning is predefined. For, for example, mm -hmm. in our English, we have a lot of uh, reserve keyword, right? Yes. I told you in the first session. 
suppose i say uh, i'll kill you, know, you. i'll kill you right mm -hmm. somebody saying i i will kill you means i love you you would say don't make me full i know the <laughs> meaning of kill kill is a keyword which meaning is everybody knows right simple yes got it this is a keyword so what is the use of it this keyword always point to the current object uh, please remember it this always holds at reference or address of both are same thing this always holds any guess reference slash address of current object let me let me tell you meaning of it right e i am going to show you the example of it right this keyword so yes. people come with me i am just writing a class uh, my class is happy clear in this class i have a method okay. public void who clear okay so try to understand what i am teaching you okay in teaser x 100 simple right okay. and it should be you can make it private because i attribute and here you can uh, print uh, sys out i told you what what this this does this always point to current object you need to understand the meaning of it. Find the correct object. Okay. When I was in the, my college, this, when I, I was in my college, I was always confused with this keyword. So here you can uh, print what? X equals to. Like here, X equals to X, or you write uh, X equals to this plus X. Both are same thing. Are you following me? Yes. I'll explain to you. First of all, this code is, uh, you know, whatever. I'd like to, uh, you know, uh, clear it more soon. Okay. See, I'm just writing another class. Can you do that? My. Yes. This is really very important program. Two classes we have. One is my main in that I would like to write public static y main hmm? are you following me yeah yes in main you have to pass one argument array i'll teach you that is here you can write anything yes you know yeah this argument name doesn't matter okay and guys here yes. i want can i make an object of happy yeah so uh if i say what is the address of happy right you can print the h H holds what man? You are not replying. H holds what? No object. But happy. Yeah, H holds address of the. Yes, you know. New happy. You guys are not replying. What is it? When you print H, you are printing the address of this object. Yes, you know. Yeah, new happy. Yes. 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 To always say yes, even though you don't understand. Say yes, yes, yes. Right. <laughs> so, H holds address of new happy. Now, if you uh, call the method foo, right? Object ob. What I'm doing? Hello, you people. Can you see this? So, a o, who is calling ob? Answer to me. OB, OB, OB. Sorry. Who is calling Foo? I'm sorry. OB is calling Foo. Call Please come with my, my pattern. My question is who is calling Foo? Answer is OB, right? Yeah. OB is an object who is calling Foo. So when this method is called, right? If you say this, this, this. So who is calling Foo? Okay. OB, right? So this will hold the address of calling object. What is it? This holds the reference of calling object. Calling so object. Who, is, who, who is who who is who is calling foo? This holds oh. reference of calling object. Right? So 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 object. Who is calling uh, foo? Answer is obj. Ob ob right. Ob is calling foo. 
So this will print the address of OB or not? Answer me. Yes. This print address slash reference of people. Why? I told you this always holds address of what? This always hold address of uh, the object who calls Zoo. foo. So who is calling foo? Oh. Ob. Ob. Yeah. So this can hold the address of calling object. So here either you print this inside the method or you can directly print the ob. Same address should come. Say yes. Mm. Hello. You are not yeah. replying. Yeah. yeah. This, yes. this will always give you the address of the calling object. You want to say, hey, foo, who is calling to you? This will tell you. This will say, okay. this foo is called by which object, right? So okay. this address and this address, both are same, right? Here in main, you are printing the address directly. In foo, you are printing the same address with the help of this keyword. Make sense? Now, when you say X, right, X will be searched in the current method. If it is not there, it will go and search in the class. But this dot X directly will search. This dot X means it is the object variable, right? So it will go to the X over here. So that's why X and this dot X both are same. Why? When you say X, first of all, it will search in the foo. It is not there. It will go to the class. Make sense? This dot X will directly go to the class. I hope you got the difference. So more we'll talk about tomorrow. So you got this much or not people? Anybody have any question? This always point object which is calling the method. Say yes. Yes. So again, I'm telling you OB, OB is holding the address of the object. If you if OB is calling foo inside the foo, if you use this keyword, this will keyword will print the address of the object who calls. Ooh. So this is clear or a little bit confusing you have? A little bit confusing. What's, what's confusion? Please ask questions. When you ask questions, yeah. the thing would be clear. Where, 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 where it is not clear, please tell me. Hello? OB, OB is holding the address of new happy object or not? Tell me. Yeah, who is saying confusion and after that he's sleeping? Come with me. Come with me and talk to me. New happy, it is the object and this object address we are holding in the OB. So here when you are printing OB, what it is printing? OB. Address of new happy, am I right? Now, same OB is calling which method? Same OB is calling oh. foo method. And oh, inside yeah. the foo, if you use this keyword, this keyword will give you the address of calling object, the object who calls foo, that's it. So here, same same OB address you can get in the this inside the foo. Why? Because OB is calling foo. Foo, yes. And I'm saying this will hold always address of the object who calls method. Which Who's one? calling the method? Okay. OB, OB, OB. So this will okay. point to the calling object. Got it. So, okay. So let, let me show you the example of it. So same thing I'm going to write uh, in the code. And I want you should go and make your practice. Otherwise, after some time, you'd be too, 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 too behind. Okay, remember it. So happy. Can you help me to write the code? Uh, it is. Uh, I I totally forget it because I have poor memory. Uh, private integer x equals to hundred. After that, you want to write public. Uh, sorry, white foo right. And here you want to print the value of two. You want to uh, say X, right? You want to print X, right? You want to, three things is there. First, you want to print the this. This means you want to print the address of the object who calls. Oh. Let me write it. Printing uh, reference of the object okay. calls who, right? And here, this dot x or x, right? Both are same. Why? X means first of all, it will search in the current method, right? Mm -hmm. let, let me write it. Like here, if I'm writing x, oh my god, now I have two x. One is this is called attribute. What man? 
attribute of a class please and this is called local variable of method what man local variable of method variable of a method make sense yes this and this could be same attribute of the class and uh, local variable can be same so when you say only x it will print the local first what is it x only x it will print the local mm -hmm. one so mm -hmm. here it will print x equals to 200 make sense yes. and uh, when you uh, only say this dot x this dot x means it will print the uh, object under, only. Under. The, this one mm -hmm. i hope you understand oh. the difference between x and this dot x x yes. will first of all yeah. uh, go to the local mm -hmm. right this dot x will always take the instance one. This is called instance variable as well. Instance. I don't know you got confused or not. X means it will search for the local, right? This dot mm -hmm. x means it will search search the instance variable. Oh, the instance variable. Of the class. Mm -hmm. Done. Now I am going to add the main method, right? And I'm making an object of happy same way as 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 what? I don't know as 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 we did it right and here you want to print the address of it right address uh, which you have in ob right let us print it so it is printing the address of ob can you see this like this now if you call foo method with the help of ob mm -hmm. so address will be again printed yes you know yes so it will go inside and it will print the this. Yes. Uh -huh. So it will print the same thing again. After that, it will print x equals to 200, then uh -huh. x equals to 100. See this? So this address is printed by this one, right? Uh -huh. And this address is printed by this one. Mm -hmm. Got it? And x means uh -huh. this one. So I don't know how many people understand this concept, this concept. Tomorrow I will give you the more example of this. I don't know about uh, the non-IT people. I have a question. Please, go ahead. Uh, so what does, uh, why does it print, I understand the happy, but the number 4361, where does number come from? No, 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 you don't know, this is, this is the hash code. I will teach you in different this okay. is the actually uh, hexadecimal representation of the hash code. We'll talk about it later, not right now. You just think okay. it is address, right? This is address. And the only yes. my intention of showing it, this address and this address, right? OB okay. holding the address of new happy. And I told you when you call the foo method, right? Yes. Then foo is, foo is called by OB. So this will uh, hold okay. the address of the object who calls foo. That's it. And why it is 48, okay. I, told, I will told you, because, uh, you know, there is a hash code method in the object class, which is going to print by default fully qualified uh, name of the class at the rate hexadecimal representation of hash code, which is, uh, which this discussion is beyond this topic. Okay, thank so guys, you very much. I'm just keeping my session till here. In next session, I will talk about uh, this keyword and then static keyword. After that, we'll jump to the inheritance topic. Thank you so much.